Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another signal flow graph problem and the problem is find the overall gain C of S by R of S for the signal flow graph shown in figure. So this is our given signal flow graph and for this signal flow graph we are asked to calculate the overall gain. So the overall gain is nothing but the transfer function. So the first step is calculating the forward path gain. So from the diagram you look carefully. Forward path is nothing but you will be having arrows that moves forward. Right. So when you consider node 1 to node 5 this is your first forward path and here all these arrows are moving forward. So this is our first forward path. And the forward path gain is nothing but we have to calculate the, we have to multiply the values which are present in each and every branches. So here in this case, the value will be G1, G2, G3 and G4, right? This is your first forward path gain. And the next one is, when you look here, again, you see from 1 to 3, it is forward path and again from 3 to 5 that is 3 to 5 gets directly connected by this branch and this branch has a gain of G6 that is the path from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 to 5 also forms a another forward path. So the respective forward path diagram is drawn here. So this is your second forward path. So what will be the gain here? Just multiply the values here G1, G2 and here G6. So, G1 into G2 into G6 is the forward path gain for this forward path. And the step 2 is calculating the individual loop gain. Apart from these two forward paths, there are no more forward paths. So, we are going to calculate the individual loop gain. So, individual loop is nothing but it will start at a node and will end at the same node. That is known as individual loop. So here from this diagram you see from between 2 to 3 it starts from 2 it moves to 3 and again it comes to 2. So this is one loop. So here I am drawing this loop and we are going to calculate the loop gain. So what will be the loop gain? G2 into minus H2. So here I am writing it as minus G2 H2. Right. And the next one is just take this path. 2, 3, 4 and 5. So when you took this path you see it starts from 2, it moves to 3, it reaches 4 and 5 and again finally it reaches the node number 2. It starts from node number 2 and after traveling through some nodes it again ends with node number 2. So this forms our second loop and the value of loop gain is just multiply. So minus G2, G3, G4 and H3. Right, this is your loop gain for this loop. And the next one is just consider the loops 2, 3 and 4. You see here from 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and again from 4 to 2. So this is your another loop. So here I have drawn this one separately. So again the value of loop gain will be just multiply the values. We will be having minus G2, G3 and H1. Right. And the next loop is just consider the nodes 2, 3 and 5. You see from 2 to 3 and 3 to 5 and again it reaches the node 2. So this path that is 2 to 3, 3 to 5 and from 5 to 2 this forms your another loop. So what will be the respective loop gain here? This is your loop number 4. So L4 is equal to minus G2, G6 and H3. Right. And the last one is just consider the loop here that is loop at node number 4. It starts at node 4 and it again ends at node 4. Okay this is a simple loop. So here this is the loop and how to calculate the gain here for the loop number 5 the gain is simply G5. That's it. Right. Here our step number 2 gets over and the next one is gain product of 2 non-touching loops. Right. So before explaining that, just compare here from this loop, it is easy to go to a step number 3. 
so what is mean by non touching loop a non touching loop is nothing but there will be two loops and the two loops don't have a common node okay that is the key thing so here just when you compare you just you take this loop first you consider this loop one and you compare it with all the loops right so here this loop one consists of which nodes 2 and 3 so here again 2 and 3 are present so we should not consider this here again we are having 2 and 3 so we should not consider this again here also nodes 2, 2 and 3 are present so we should not consider this also so and the last thing is you see here it consists of only node 4 alone so this loop and this loop form a single pair of non touching loops right hope you people are clear with this so here i am drawing this loop and this loop separately so here comes our step number 3 So in this step number three, you see this loop, which consists of two and three nodes. This is a loop, and this is another loop. So these two forms a pair of non-touching loops, right? Because these two loops have different nodes. Here two and three, and here four. So what will be the gain product? Just you have to multiply this gain with this gain. So when you multiply this one, what you will be having minus g two h two multiplied by g five. right so when you multiply you will be having minus g2 g5 and h2 okay this is your first pair of non touching loops and again just we have to take each and every loop and compare it with others right so here again when you take this loop 2 3 here also 2 3 here also 2 3 and here also 2 3 and here you see again here this loop has 4 also and here also the 4 is present so we should not take this loop again take this loop here what are all the nodes here in this case 2 3 4 so we can't take this one we can't take this one and again here also 2 3 we can't take this one and here also we can't take because here node 4 is present and here also there is node 4 so now consider this loop so again 2 and 3 are present right so here also 2 1 3 are present here also 2 1 3 are present and here also 2 1 3 are present so we can't take these loops and finally just consider this one here how many nodes which nodes are connected 2 3 and 5 whereas here only node 4 so again these two forms a pair of non touching loops so i have drawn these two diagrams again so you see that is our step number 3 right i have taken these two loops and again we have to calculate the gain product so what is the gain product of this loop minus g2 g6 h3 multiplied by g5 right so when you multiply you will be having minus g2 g5 g6 and h3 and this forms your gain product of second pair of non touching loops right hope you people are clear with the step number 3 and our next step is calculation of del and del k so what is the formula for del it is 1 minus sum of individual loop gains plus gain product of pair of non touching loops so here i have to substitute the respective values of the loop gain 1 minus l1 so here this l1 l2 l5 these values we can write from our step number 2 so here i am writing that one so minus g2 h2 minus G two, G three, G four, H three, minus G two, G three, H one, minus G two, G six, H three, and finally plus G five. Right. So again plus I have to include M one and M two. So what is the value of M one? Here M one is nothing but minus G two, G five, H two, and M two here is what is the value of M two minus G two, G five, G six, and H three. Right. So here I have to arrange the things. So when you arrange, you will be having when you take this minus sign inside, you will be having one plus G two H two plus G two G three G four H three plus G two G three H one plus G two G six H three and minus G five. Right. This one again. When you include this here, you will be having plus into minus becomes minus, right? So here, when you take this minus outside, you will be having G two G five H two plus 
G2, G5, G6 and H3. So this is our value of del. Right. Now we are going to calculate the del 1. So how many forward paths we are having? We are having two forward paths. So the first path covers all the five nodes. Right. Here the first path. This is your problem and the first path covers all the five nodes. Is there any loop without touching this forward path? No, we don't have any loops without touching this forward path. So the value of del1 will be, we have to simply write the value of del1 as 1 here. Right. And the next one, we have to calculate del2 because we have two forward paths. So we need to calculate del1 and del2. So again, consider our second forward path. So here, this is our second forward path. So is there any loop? which is formed without touching this forward path? Yes, we are having a loop at node number 4 and this forward path is not touching that loop at node number 4. So the formula is 1 minus sum of individual loop gain. So here 1 minus, what is the value of uh, uh, loop gain here at node 4? At node 4, I am having only G5, right? So here I have to include Simply I have to write it as del2 equal to 1 minus g5, right? Hope you people are clear with this. And our final step is just we have to substitute the values. So when you substitute the values, we will be having which is equal to what is the value of p1? That is p1 is our forward path gain. So g1, g2, g3, g4. What is the value of del1? Del1 is 1. So into 1 plus what is the value of p2? p2 is g1 g2 g6 and what is the value of del2 here del2 is 1 minus g5 right and the whole divided by del here what is the value of del this is your value of del so just substitute the values directly so here you will be having 1 plus g2 h2 plus g2 g3 g4 h3 plus g2 g3 h1 plus g2 g6 h3 minus g5 and again when you take this minus sign inside you will be having minus g2 g5 h2 again minus g2 g5 g6 and h3 so this is our final transfer function that is this is the overall gain of this given signal flow graph that's all the problem gets over here hope you people understand thank you